I installed these torque lift steps about a year ago on my RV because at that time my wife was having knee problems and it helped her up and down the steps. Now overall I still think they're good steps but there is a downside to them and that is they can be a trip hazard. About a month ago I tripped and fell off these steps and if you're wearing long pants as you come off the step if you're not careful this can happen and this is exactly what happened when I came down the steps my pant leg caught on the end here and caused me to fall. I fell and hit my knee on concrete. And given that I wear shorts most of the year, this has never been a problem, but I decided to wear long pants and then I tripped. And you can see right here about a quarter inch to maybe three of an inch overhang here above this. If you put a piece of cloth over here, you can see the trip hazard and it can snag your pants like it did mine. This is the original cap that I removed and this is the one that I 3D printed. And if you look at the back side you can see that they both fit the one inch tube and the difference is that this has a lip on it. It will prevent catching your pant cuff. Now if you don't have a 3D printer you might be able to make a little square out of either wood or metal and then maybe by using a sheet metal screw a rivet or even glue. Maybe you can glue that to the top of the existing cover. And in the description I'll provide a link to the SDL file. The file only consists of the left cap. So when you print these you have to use your slicing software and make a mirror image for the right side. I also recommend that you use zero infill which will create a 100% solid cap. That way it will allow you to hammer on the cap a lot easier and if you have to do any trimming, you can do that as well without compromising the cap. And I'm going to replace this cap. And these are a little hard to get off. They're glued on, it looks like. And actually I had to cut a little material off here because this is not quite square. Yeah, they didn't do a very good job at uh, welding this on. It's a little bit crooked. So if I would have kept it the full length, it would have jammed in the corner here. So you may have to trim the block a little bit. And that is pretty much flush. And then if we try our test again here, there's no way that that's going to catch. And you can see when it's stowed, it stows out of the way. And so there we go. We have the two new caps on. And of course, you don't have to make them neon green if you don't want. I just did it so you could see it a little bit easier in the video. Plus, you know, it does kind of remind you that this is a trip hazard.